Hey, Christy here with Make Everyday Colorful, and today I am going to be showing you a video of some of my favorite science books for kids. So I'm gonna say the age range for this would probably be about, let's say preschool on up to early elementary, like maybe like second, third grade. Um, some of these books are even great for as adults, as I am an adult, and I enjoy reading these, and it gives me a quick overview of stuff I probably didn't know prior to reading this. Um, and it's on a, a variety of subjects. So I'm going to show you what our favorite books are that we have in our own home library that maybe you would be interested in ordering to get your kid uh, started in introducing your kid into science, different subjects of science. Okay, so let me get started. So if you have very young children, I would say preschool age, they'll probably love these books, okay? So these are books that I got from Usborn. This one is Life Size Dinosaurs. And what is so cool about these Life Size books is they show you any part of the book that says Life Size, that is the actual life size of the animal or whatever they're showing you. This page is eggs. So it has different dinosaurs. Like this is what it would be life size to be up to a Diplodocus face to face. And a pterodon beak see how long it is so it shows you life-size images of these animals and they give you little facts about the animals on the next page and they even have um a, back here they give you facts about the animals too and then the coolest part of this book is this life-size t-rex now it's tyrannosaurus rex so it's really big so you're not going to be able to you see i'm gonna have to so this is a really cool book for young, I mean, older kids will like it too, but this is really cool. And the same thing with the life-size animals, okay? So again, anything that says life-size in this book, like this one says, try a toucan's beak, hold it up to the side of your nose. So you, and it's showing you life-size, what it would be like. So this one's really cool. This is um, a giant squid's eye. Look how big that is compared to mine. So great little books to get your kids interested in those subjects. And speaking of pull out stuff, this is a, another series that I really like by us on. And it's the big book of, so we have the big book of bugs, the big book of sea creatures, the big book of dinosaurs and the big book of the human body. My kids really love these books. We have to pull them out all the time. So you see how big this is? This is like the human, you know, your organs, your digestive system. And I'm trying to show you another flap in here. Um, the other one they really love is, well, I mean, they love all the flaps, honestly, they're pulled out big. Let me show you this one. It's hard to get these books <laughs> pulled out sometimes whenever you're sitting down. So this one's the muscular system. So all of these big book of books have pull out flaps. So even, you know, the big book of dinosaurs, this is one of the flaps that pulls out, okay? And then it has all kind of information about like little facts about each of the dinosaurs. So a great introduction to dinosaurs in this one. This one is sea creatures. So again, um, flaps that pull out. If I can get it to pull, there we go. They're not as hard as I'm making it look. Trust me, it's just because I'm sitting down in a small, tight space. So, and this is another one that pulls out in here. So a bunch of information. Tells you the name of the animals and little tidbits about them. And then this one is bugs. Okay. So these are great books to introduce your kids to these subjects now. If they like this, of course, you can buy more in-depth books, but great introduction especially for the young kids um see so another one that is really good and um, i say for younger kids and uh, lower elementary this series of books and i have six of them i would love more of them because they're really good this is also us born and this is uh very first questions and answers books so some of the ones i have like how do you see and this one's actually about all the senses. It's not just how do you see, it's how do you hear, and you pull open flaps and they have more information. 
and how do things taste so this one's all the senses and they have a bunch of flaps on every page and let me see so a couple of the other ones i mean there's so many in here so how do flowers grow again a bunch of flaps and information on them what makes it rain so this one's about weather why do we need bees and it talks all about bees the different types of bees and some are honeybees and some you know aren't and it just has it tells you a bunch of information about bees this one <laughs> it's funny these okay so um where's that other one okay so where do babies come from this is one of those you may or may not feel comfortable reading to your kid. I'm going to be honest with you because, I mean, they talk about certain things in here that you may not feel comfortable talking about because it is where your babies come from. But it's I find it to be a very good age-appropriate way of explaining things to kids. And I do, I want my kids to be um, to look at science as what it is. It's science. It's not like this is just the way things work. Um, so I guess it makes it easier to wear... They just always kind of like, you know, um, for instance, we've had chickens and stuff. So how does the egg get fertilized? Well, you know, it gives them a better understanding. So that's kind of one of those subjects. That's going to depend on you as a parent if you'd be into explaining that at this age. Um, what are germs? So it talks about germs and how germs spread and how they can come from animals or, you know, sneezing on each other and different things like that. And this one is one that my kids love. I mean, I don't know what it is about kids and poop, to be honest, but what is poop? And it talks about how everyone poops and how animals poop and what their poop kind of looks like and stuff. And it just goes all the way through there and about how our poop go, you know, ends up. And then it ends up on forms sometimes. And um, what else do you do with poop and how they can test it if you're sick? And some, you know, some places they try to make fire, uh, I say fire stick, camel poop fire, you know, things like that. Okay, so another series I really like, and I would say this one would be more like, oh, probably say kindergarten and up. And this is the Wells series, Robert E. Wells, um, Wells of Knowledge Science series. So I think I got every book in this series. It says, can we share the world with tigers? And it's not just about tigers. Like, it talks about what's going on, on in the world and how um, the air is warmer and melting the Arctic oceans faster. So, and these books really go down, I feel like almost like a rabbit hole. Earth's habitats are homes to millions of species. And then it talks about... Um, hot spots of biodiversity i mean it, it just kind of goes down a rabbit hole to be honest and and it's the same with all of his books like how to lift a lion and it talks you know it starts off so you know you can lift the lion and it shows like the the lever and how would you lift 10 lions and so it's trying to introducing kids to weight and how big things are or how are um in different ways that you would move certain things okay see oh we would use wheels to move them because that would be a lot easier right um is a blue well the biggest thing there is and you can see i've already used books here <laughs> so and it talks about how the blue well is one of the earth's largest creatures okay but then it really gets in depth so and it starts talking about the universe, okay? So, I'm trying to show you. So, you, it, okay, so if you had a bunch of whales and you stuck them in this many jars on this many pallets, this much high, and then you stuck them on a mountaintop, it would look really small, right? But then if you stacked a bunch of mountains, you know, so it's trying to, it's trying to get kids an idea. How about size? Like, yes, a blue whale is pretty big, but when you compare it to this, and it keeps going and going and going you know, for the universe. What's smaller than a pygmy shrew? Now, this is pretty cool because it's saying a pig, it shows you a pygmy shrew, which is really small, you know, compared to an elephant. He is very small, but if you put a ladybug by him, well, he's not that small, is he? And then it goes all the way down and it's showing like bacteria 
and like cells and atoms and I mean so it's giving you all this information on science okay great science books and it just goes on and on so what's older than a, um, a giant tortoise and what's faster than a speeding cheetah did dinosaurs drink this water and talks all about water and how it's recycled and how you know it evaporates into then rain comes back down and the water's mixed and the oceans you know everything so how do you know what time it is what's so special about planet earth can you count to google and polar polar bear why is your world melting so a bunch of great science books, a bunch of information in these books. I really recommend getting them if you can, okay? Um, these are some other ones that are great for younger, I say younger grades and even younger children, like preschool and stuff. So I only have three of these books. I honestly would love to get most of their series. These Usborn Beginner Readers. And, they, and I only have the bugs, the dogs, and the eggs and chicks. I think I actually have a weather. I have some that I have saved as gifts, like weather and, um, I don't know, just a couple other different ones. I think maybe about flowers and stuff. So they have a bunch of science books. And so this one's talking about bugs. Okay. And, of course, this one's all about dogs and why they do certain things and why they sniff, why they bark, and how they play. And then this one's eggs and chicks and how the uh, chicks are in the eggs and about the mama birds. So this is a really good books. Highly recommend them. I wish I could have all of them, but there's so many. <laughs> okay, this is another series I really like. And these are um, Let's Read and Find Out series, okay? So I have some of the books, these books that are written actually by Alakai. I love that author. And these three are about dinosaurs. So digging up dinosaurs, fossils, and dinosaurs are different. And what I like about this series of books is they go into like a lot of detail about whatever the subject is. So this one's dinosaurs. Um, another one I have, What Makes Day and Night? And it talks about day and night. Okay. And then they have different state, like this is stage two, so it's for different ages. And I have, I think, all stage two ones. There's another one I wish I could have found it. It was on the ear, and it had so much information. Like, I didn't even know all this stuff. So I learned all about, you know, the outer ear, inner ear, like how the little bone that vibrates and everything, like stuff I didn't even know until I read the book. Okay, so I showed you the fossil one, and I think there was one more. Okay, is there life in outer space? So, you know. Just more, and they have a lot of information in these, so these are really good books. Okay, what other ones did I want to show you? Okay, I have this one, another one by Usborn. This is Usborn Lift the Flat Body. We actually got it with our homeschool curriculum. So it's this one, like it's talking about the taste buds. Um, so they talk about different things. So they talk about the senses, they talk about how your food is digested. Um, they talk about where babies come from. I'm trying to see, so yeah, I'm on the senses right now. So this is from all the ear. Yeah, and so this one's kind of about babies. So this has a bunch of information in it too about your body. Let's see, and another one by us one that my kids really liked. It says, "Why do tigers have stripes?" And it's all about like camouflage or warning colors you know like um the yellow and black so a lot of animals won't mess with an with insects with the yellow and black because it's a warning to them that they could be hurt or stung but some animals have certain markings and they're not even poisonous it's kind of like a trick so like these and i mean even octopus, you know, like they change colors or this fish blends in with the bottom of the sand. So it's really all about camouflage and like warning colors and stuff in the animal world and what those um, colors mean. There's no place like space. This is a um, Dr. Seuss one and it just kind of talks about the planets on a little, in a story setting. So it's just a little some introduction to outer space. 
Okay, so Magic School Bus um, series, and I have more books. I just couldn't find them all today. We're in the middle of building big bookshelves, and I have books and boxes everywhere. It's crazy. So, Magic School Bus, again, this I would say for, uh, kindergarten or first grade and older because there's a lot of information in these books. Now, I will say that while well, she just turned five when she was four, I was reading some of these to my four-year-old, but um, sometimes it was kind of like information overload. So this one is Magda School Bus at the Waterworks, Ups and Downs, Exploring the Senses, and The Electric Field Trip. So they have a bunch of Magda School Bus um, science books. Okay, and last but not least, I love this book. Okay, so this is one of my favorite books that I got with my um, curriculum last year for homeschool. It's called the Bernstein Bears Book Book of Science and Nature. So this covers kind of a wide variety of subjects. So it starts off with like the year, like the um, different seasons, okay? And weather, um, summer and brings fun and sun. So things that you do in the sun. Let's see, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I mean, we're still kind of talking about the different seasons fall. And then it even has actual facts about the moon. I feel like I do a video on this book alone because there's just so much information on it. Um, nature, so it's talking about different port, you know, things in nature. Fish and other sea water life. Actual facts about Earth itself. So, and then it's showing you like different parts of the earth, like a cliff or a mountain range, um, falls, you know, different things like that. And then what actual facts about machines. So we get into the machines. Like what's a lever? What's a wedge? So, I mean, it goes through a lot of information and you can see the pictures on these pages are wonderful. These, this is a great book, I would say for younger, like preschool on up, okay? Cause it's a, uh, gives you, you know, you know, just enough information to where they can grasp it. Oh, and it even goes into like solids and then they have gas and liquid. Um, I'm trying to see if they, energy, different things like that. So I really like this book. My kids um, really, really enjoy this book. So a lot of days we would have, okay, read, let's say page um, three to five. And we were reading like <laughs> page three to 20. You know what I'm saying? Cause they just didn't want to stop reading the book and we've read the book more than once. So, so that's my um, stack of science books. And I know I have so many more great science books. Like I even have little science encyclopedias and stuff. But I wanted to show you books that you could probably sit down and do in a sitting with your child that would be easy to get through, easy to read. Um, probably will one day do a really extensive science video where I have tons of books for all different age ranges. Or I might just do an upper grades age range science uh, books video because I just have so much stuff. But I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you want to check out some other book recommendations or book reviews, just look at the... Um, other videos on my page and of course click to subscribe and check me out on social media and y'all have a blessed day.